Hi everyone, right, I'm back again. Just want to talk you through a little bit of compost. Um, I'm going to start potting up all my tubers today. We'll put them into uh, the mushroom trays. Um, I won't show you how to do it. I showed you before in the last video. Uh, you don't need to see it again. It's exactly the same same way as I did the oak woods and stuff. So, right, I've just been down to B and Q. Um, this is 125 litres, I think it says it there, look, 125 litres of the Verve compost. Um, so what I do is I put it through the shredder, which is that thing there. You can buy these anywhere really. Um, highly recommend it. Um, it literally, so 125 litres, it's filled the bag almost back to the top again, so that's 125 litres plus another 50 litres, well that's the 70 litre bucket, um, might be a bit more but I'm not sure, so plus when I fill that bag, so there's another extra 50 litres basically that I've made out of a 125 litre bag, and that's just putting it through the shredder, it makes it all nice and fluffy, there's loads of air in it, perfect you know, if you know people that can't afford you know, to be buying loads of compost and stuff, try this way I mean I, I use this for everything um, my onions every everything carrots all my cuttings um, but when I do my cuttings uh, for me daily is what I would do is I'll put this for a really fine sieve just because there's still little bits in it still little twigs and stuff in it um, still some lumps as you can see um, so I'll get all of that out again and I'll put them in all the bits will go in the buckets and then that will go back through the shredder again, and then it gets sieved again. Um, but this is just the method that I use. It works for me. Um, you know, obviously with your cuttings, your, your onions, um, or whatever you're going to do. Um, you know, you just add vermiculite, perlite, whatever you want to. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, it's just nice and fluffy look, and that's how it comes out. So, highly recommend using a leaf shredder i've basically got myself an extra 50 liters of compost by the time i've watered it down and stuff and yeah it's be probably about 30 liters so yeah i'm kind of happy uh it's just a quick method to show you i mean i've got all this lot to start boxing up now exactly the same way as i showed you before um the croissants are still coming through all right um they're on there's no heat in there or nothing they're, they seem to be growing all right I mean, there's some here, you know, they're doing doing really well. So, let's tick them over. Hopefully start taking some cuttings on them in January. Um, so, yeah, um, one thing I do say, that if you do get one of these things, um, we've, I don't know if you can see, but we've cut a bigger, bigger hole in the top. So, we've cut this bit out here. So, it used to be just a slit there, you see. Um, I use a... I use one of these to style it off, um, just to get the top off, and then from there I start smashing the bag up, and then I use a dustpan. Um, just be careful; don't chuck it all in because you'll block you'll block it all up, um, and that's the last thing that you want to do. Uh, you don't want to block it. Right, I just that's all it is really. Just a quick video, nothing else going on. Um, yeah, thanks very much.